All right, good morning guys. So we had this Ram 1500 that came into the shop with an issue that's fairly common on these with the 5.7 Hemis. And I wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys in a video uh, what's going on here. So this thing's only got like 78, 79,000 miles. And the customer says that this thing, the check engine light came on and it started misfiring on cylinder five. So cylinder five is over here on the driver's side, the third one back. So he says it started misfiring. He replaced all 16 plugs and he replaced this, the coil on, uh, on number five. So you can see it's, he had a new coil put on number five. But the check engine light still came on. It still kept misfiring. Um, so he brought it here for us to check out and see what's going on. And I'm going to show you guys what's going on with this thing. It's It's got an issue with the lifters, um, which a lot of these have. So if you have a Ram or any, any Dodge Chrysler with a 5.7 Hemi, it starts misfiring. I wanted to show you guys how you can diagnose and how you can know for certain that this thing has the uh, kind of the famous lifter issue. What happens a lot on these is that the lifters, which are underneath the cylinder heads, one or more of the lifters, uh, they, the bearings in the lifters collapse. Um, and then in a lot of cases, it even scores up the camshaft, causes a misfire on one or more cylinders. And the only way to repair it is to go deep into the engine, pull off the cylinder heads, replace lifters, possibly the camshaft. If you guys are suspecting that you may have an issue like this, I'll show you guys what to do. What you're looking for here, I've already, cylinder five, like I said, is the third one back over here. I've already got the valve cover removed. You can see this is what the other side looks like with the valve cover and the coils in place. There's not, not too much to it to really get the valve cover off, but you're gonna want to figure out which cylinder is misfiring and which side it's on. In this case, we have one, three, five, seven, and over here is two, four, six, and eight. So I got the valve cover off. And as you can see, looking back in there, this thing has two valves per cylinder. There's an intake valve and exhaust valve. So the, those springs that you see on top are for the intake valves, the four on the top, and the four on the bottom are for the exhaust valves. With the valve cover removed, all you have to do is observe the movement of the springs while you get somebody in the vehicle cranking it, um, not starting it obviously, but just cranking over the engine. And we're gonna watch for the movement of these valve springs. And on any cylinder that has a collapsed lifter, damaged camshaft, what you'll find is that the valves, the springs, they don't move fully. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna get somebody to crank this thing over and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Just so you guys have a reference of what I'm looking at here, this spring, the valve spring here on the top and this one on the bottom is for cylinder one. The second one back on the top and on the bottom is for cylinder three. The third one back on the top and on the bottom is for cylinder five. The last one, the last pair back there is for cylinder seven. So the, the top and bottom correspond with the same cylinder. So when we start cranking this thing over, look at the third one back, which is cylinder five. Hang on. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now that we know what's going on with this thing, we've already gotten the okay from the customer to proceed with the repair. We're gonna get this thing repaired and then I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. Once we get it repaired, I'm gonna actually make a video of um, getting this thing repaired. 
so and then i'll post that so the link will be in the description once i get it uploaded and then you guys can check it out and see just exactly what we have to do to get this thing repaired how involved it is what parts are needed and that sort of thing i appreciate you guys watching thanks so much bye